post award for 300. For 300, all right. So the required submission method for annual progress reporting. Anyone remember? <laughs> oh, we've got a hand over here. Oh, sorry. Um, the comments. What is electronic submission through ERA Commons? That's right. All right, would you like to pick the next category? Uh, let's do pre-award for 400. <laughs> you did it just right, that was great. True or false, a consortium budget must be included in a multi-PDPI application when the PDPIs are at different institutions. So this is kind of a challenging one. I guess I'll go true. True is the correct answer. And the reason for that is we make an award to one institution. So the main institution that's applying has to submit the award and then you would have consortium agreements for all of your multi-PIs. Good pick. Yes, good job. All right, would you like to select the next category? Sure. Uh, what about prior approval for 300? All right, so another true or false. Changing multi-PI grant to a single PI grant does not require NIH prior approval. <laughs> what is false? <laughs> prior approval request should include an impact statement on the scope of work and budget, since that is a significant change. Would you like to pick another category for us? Sure, let's do prior approval for 400. Fantastic. <laughs> All right. The effort for PI of a grant changes from seven calendar months to 1.2 calendar months effort. So what kind of prior approval might that indicate? Um, what is a reduction of more than 25% effort? That's right, a significant awesome. change in the level of effort. Prior approval would be required since they're reducing by more than 25%. Nice job. You wanna pick the next question? Let's go with close out for 500. Woo! Oh, gold. <laughs> All right, this report is due when the project period has ended and a competing renewal application has been submitted. What is an interim RPPR? You are correct, yeah. good job. Yeah. I love it. All right, Don't select take... another question for us. All right, Alex, can I have <laughs> NERSA for 500? You guys know these. True or false? Recipients may supplement stipends from non-federal funds. So can they provide additional support to their NRSA folks with their own funds? I'm gonna guess what is true? I mean. <laughs> what is true, you are right. All right, so we can do a couple more if you wanna pick another category. Sure, we're gonna go for prior approval for 500. Okay. True or false, NIH prior approval is not required to rebudget funds for any direct cost item that the applicable cost principles identify as requiring the agency's prior approval unless that cost is associated with or considered to be a change in scope. <laughs> so this one is true. So across the government there are lots of prior approval requirements, but NIH in general does not require for cost items prior approval unless it's specifically a significant rebudgeting or something that indicates a change in scope. Oh, come on. Do you want to pick next one? Right, that's one of the expanded authorities. Sorry, you stated unless it's a significant. So rebudgeting that more than 25%. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, things like equipment that's more than $20,000, the kind of bigger changes, significant changes, or if it is a change in scope. Thank you. Why don't you go ahead and pick another question Okay, for us. the next one would be um, post awards for 500. Okay. But suspension, termination, and withholding of support. Ooh. So what might those be examples of? <laughs> so these are remedies for non-compliance or enforcement actions that NIH may choose to take if you do not comply with the terms and conditions of your award. After we try to work with you. Yes, yeah. that's always the first step. All right, so do you want to pick another question? Pre-award for 500. Okay, awesome. So procedures that allow certain elements of an application to be submitted later in the application process after review when the application is being considered for funding. <laughs> what is just in time? <laughs> that is one. That is correct, what is just in time? You want to pick another question for us? Um, I'll do pre-award for 300. 
So any cost incurred prior to the beginning date of the project period in anticipation of the award and at the applicant's own risk. What is advance spending or advance accounts? So essentially, yeah, pre-award costs. So recipients have the ability to incur pre-award costs for up to 90 days before the project begins, but it is done at the recipient's own risk. Uh, 